welcome to Linda Tillman Craft Along. This is a Chuck Couture, Club Couture, for the month of January 2020. We have the transfer to get your things ready for Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. I don't know why I always say time. It's Valentine. St. Valentine, I guess it's after. I'm not really sure. Anyway, so look, we have the conversation hearts. And then we have the big doily. How cool is that? So I'm going to take and just start creating, just start color, uh, making all kinds of little things. This is Cricut Basswood that I used my true knife and just made a little tag. And like I used my handwritten font to make this one. But I want to paint some of these white. You know, do some uh, whitewash over them first. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and do some whitewashing real quick. And the reason I say whitewashing is because I'm running out of my chalk paint. And so I had to water it down. And in the process of watering it down, I overwatered it down. So we're pretty much just whitewashing everything. And the way I'm going to do that. Is do, 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 do. <laughs> oh, I really need to go ahead and just write a script so my brain does what it's supposed to do. There we go. I'm just gonna take this big old paintbrush. I'm just gonna put some color down. That's what we're gonna do. We're going to. Take my dirty thing in palette here, and we're just gonna pour some of this in here. I set that over here to the side. You can see how watery it is. So we're just gonna do a little whitewashing just to get it prepped up. Maybe it'll actually cover this. Real good. And then I'll take my heat gun and I'll dry it. Fill the bubbles in it. I don't know. I might actually get pretty good coverage with this. Huh. I'll be tickled if it does. I mean, it's a water-based chalk paint, so... I just don't like how bubbly it is. I'm shaking it. I should have stirred it. Stirred, not shaken. <laughs> And we'll just do that. And I love my glass mat that Recreates gave me because everything just wipes right off. Even if it dries, it just comes right off. So it doesn't matter if I drip stuff on it. Because I can just take a rag and a paper towel and wipe it off. Let's go ahead and do the edges, too, because it just looks unfinished if you don't. And then if you want to, like, make it, like, distressed looking, you can always just take some other, like, brown paint or black paint and just kind of go through it. Like, look at that bubble and like that. I didn't do good coverage on that one. You gotta be careful with this basswood because it wants to bend once it gets wet, too. So let's just kind of I better spread that stuff around. I guess because it's really more water than it is color. Let's just make sure we got it spread out good. Let's go over these real quick. Because look at that. It's like the water's more so the water than the actual pigment color here. And I'm not going for perfection. This is just for my bedroom that I'm doing this. I got a little shelf up here behind me that I just display all my little chocature stuff that I do. Meanwhile, my 
fingers are going numb trying to do this stuff. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. Have y'all seen the new, um, is it out in theaters yet? Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood? I want to see that. When I was a little kid, I used to love to watch Mr. Rogers. Oh, we did that one pretty good already. Yeah, we did that one already pretty good. So, I really didn't need that much of that whitewash, did I? No, I didn't. So, let's take, let's add a little noise to the group here. And let's dry these off. Dry these down real quick so we can chalk on them. Let's see if we need another coat. Need another layer on there. Chuck paint usually dries real quick, but with the water added, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna be careful because I don't want the wood to start burning. There we go. I'm starting to see it dry. It's bending. It's bending. Right, I think that's dry. Let's do this little one. Sorry for all the noise, guys. Let's see if I can't speed that up. Mm -hmm. If you want, you can just kind of fast forward through this part. You don't have to hear all the noise. There's an option to play a video like double time. So you're just like going through it really quick. I just want to make sure that it's dry so that my chalk and stuff doesn't get all messed up. And that one looks kind of undry, so let's throw that one again. Alright, I think they're dry. I think they're ready for some chalk paste. What do you guys think? I think so. Yep. Alright. So, let's go ahead and cut our little conversation heart, because that's what I'm going to use. I'm not going to use a really big one today. I'm just going to use little conversation hearts, and then I have the handwritten fonts that I did this with. So, I don't know if I'm going to... I don't know, y'all. What do you think? In the comment section, tell me what you think. I'm not going to take this completely out of the package because I'm not using the big one. I'm only using this little one. So, let's get my scissors here. I don't know where my big ones went, so we'll use my little ones. And we're just going to cut along the lines here. Cut them apart. do this to some, do these little things to some shoes that I have, but I don't want to walk around all the time with them saying the Valentine stuff on them. But I have some little canvas shoes that I got at the dollar store for 75 cents. Imagine that. Canvas shoes at the dollar store for 75 cents. I didn't know they were on sale. I would have bought all of the ones they had if I'd have known that. But anyway, so... 
We have to defuzz this. We have to defuzz these. So let's get our little defuzzing stuff. Defuzzing stuff. Or defuzzing cloth. Yeah, that's all dry. I don't want to get paint all over this. So this is the side I dry on. This is the side I'll defuzz on. And let's move this paint stuff out of the way. So as not to get... That one's done. And I'm pretty sure once you do them once, you don't need to do them again. So. And it's just to make it so that they come up easy off of... They won't feel like they're super, super sticky though, so. But that way they don't stick to the surface too hard and it doesn't mess up your stencils just by stretching them or anything when you're pulling them off. Okay, so now they're all defuzzed. Let's fold this back over so when we do them through the bath, let's bring our paint back over here in case we need it. Put that on the other side of our bath over there. And so let's start with the tag. So I think we're going to do two of them on here. And I think we're going to do them pink. So, let's get our chalk paste, which is peony, which is a pink. And let's get a little stir here. And ooh, look at that. Ooh. I probably should mix a little water with it, but I'm not going to. This is what my white looked like. And then after some stirring, and I should have done this before I started recording, but once you stir it up, then it comes out nice. And you can just add just a little bit of water if you want to. And a little spritz of water, but I don't have any water in my spritzers, so... I should probably get some. But see, it's getting all nice and pasty again here. Now my hand isn't like this, though. My thumbs want to lock up. Let's see if I can do this left-handed. I am not left-handed, so doing things left-handed is a little bit more difficult. But a little less painful. And I got that carpal tunnel twinge going on in my thumb there. Oh, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. This pink is so pretty. I love the color pink. Do you guys like the color pink? What's your favorite color? Tell me in the comment section below. What is your favorite color? Alright. Now for the fun, easy parts. <laughs> this is the fun, easy part coming, y'all. Alright. I think that paste is good now. Let's start with our tag. Let's put this first one right there. And then just take a little bit of this and just go over it like that. A 
little goes a very long way. So if you're like, oh, that stuff is expensive, well, it's worth it because it goes a really long way. And pull it up so that it doesn't... Your eye on there. There we go. We're just gonna set that right there because we're gonna do more with that with that color. And then we take the XOXO. Let's dry that real quick first. You can just use a regular blow dryer, but I just happen to have my heat tool right here, so I'm using my heat tool. Alright, so now I can do this where I can actually set this one up like that on top of it or beside it. Let's do it so it's like that. I'm going to go over this way more because I want to kind of try to put a third one if I can. There we go. And the corner dab. Put it on. And I know it probably would be cooler if I did more than one color, but I'm just going for the pink and white look right now. That's all. That's all. There we go. Let's get that on. I think I got it covered. Pull it up. And voila. And I'm just, oh, I don't want to put that on there with the pink stuff on it. I don't want these to get the, now see, I should have wrote on the back what they were, but I'm not Miss Perfectionist. Remember, I need to make a checklist. Did you do this? Did you do that? Look at that. That's what I actually dry already. There we go. All right, let's see, do we? Can we get one more in there? No, we can't. No, we can't. I mean, we could if we did it a different color, but I don't wanna do it a different color. So, nope. But that's okay. That's okay. Let's try it. Let's do it anyway with the pink and see what happens. Maybe the pink colors will just make it look like it's behind it or something. Let's do it anyway. You hear the birds out there? Come, 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 come. They're laughing. Those crows laugh at you when you're doing things. And let's hope this looked okay. What happened to my E? Why does my E look like that? Huh. My E looks funny. Oh well. I don't want them sticking down like that. Alright. Now I don't have yellow chalk paste, but that would have been cute in yellow. So let's go ahead and dry that one now too. know if this is going to work or not. Oh, sorry guys. I guess I should have zoomed y'all in on that. Huh, sorry. So I don't know if this is going to work or not, but I'm going to try this. I don't see why it wouldn't, because this basswood is kind of 
thin and this fits in there and I just want a little let's see if I can ow no I can't do it damn it I can't do it I'm not strong enough I bet my brother could do it my cricket maker could do it if I wanted to cut a bunch of these out on the cricket maker can't do it. But I'll tell you what I can do. I'll tell you what I can do. I can take my tr true knife and I can go like that. And then like that. See, it's really soft wood, so be careful not to see, do it like what I just did. I just kind of broke it there. Oh, I don't want that coming out of there. Stay in there. See, this is when the maker would have come in really when I should have just uh, done a bunch of tags on the maker instead of trying to take shortcuts. I didn't want to make a whole bunch. I just wanted one to show everybody. So anyway, I think that's good enough to get a ribbon in there. I'll put your lid back on this. I should have, while I'm doing all this, I should have this lid on here so as not to dry it all out. All right, so I have some ribbon over here that I think will be pretty color. And we'll do it right about there. But first, I'm wondering if, like, the big ribbon, if this works with the little ribbon. I watched another crafter make a little bow this way, and I'm just wanting to see if it works. So just bear with me a second, guys. Oh, she had a hot glue gun. I don't have a hot glue gun. Okay, that's not going to work. I'm just going to have to tie a bow. Alright, we want this to go through that hole, right? So, I'm going to come over here to our cricket. And we're going to get our little tool that does, um, it's, what is that called when you roll the papers? Oh my gosh, I can't remember what that name of that is. But I'm going to use that tool. There we go. There we go. And we're just going to Little tiny things like this, my fingers used to work so well doing them. And nowadays, it's like, what the heck is up with my hands? Ah, get in there. It's like they don't want to cooperate with me. There we go. Now, I want this to be right on top of it. Sorry for the fan noise, but it's January in Florida, and you gotta have a fan on. Okay, here we go. We got a little tag. Tell me what you think in the comments.
All right, let's move on to a second thing to make. So now the Dollar Tree had these little buckets. I got these a little year ago. With these little white buckets. As a matter of fact, I think Beth got these, but I am going to put conversation hearts on them. And because it's circular is why it's kind of like wanting to wrinkle up on me. I'm gonna get there we go. There we go. Alright. So let's get our pink paste. Now remember the paste can be changed out. It can be washed off when you do non-porous surfaces and stuff. So like after Thanksgiving thank you. After Valentine's Day, and I want to put something more Eastery or something on my bucket. All I gotta do is wash it off. I love it. My bucket, my little bucket, can have any season, any anything that I have a transfer for, and my paste. So I'm trying to make sure that it's all even. There we go, and then just. Oh, that one didn't come out that great. That's okay. Probably because I didn't wash it in between. Let's do the XOXO. Probably because I didn't re-stir my stuff either. But let's do... Oh, no, it's because of those bumps. Let's put the letters under the bumps this time. That's what it is. It's those... These little bumps right here. See? Still says be mine, but and still a heart. See Crazy. All right, let's see how this one turned out. Not that great, but it's still cute. I still like it. I think I need to wash these off now. I think I've got dry stuff going in with these. Let's rinse them off real quick and stir this up and maybe add a little water to that. But there we go. So I got a little Valentine bucket. Which I will put my little stir sticks in. And I'm just going to let these air dry. I'm not going to heat dry them or anything. I'm just going to let them air dry. And then I'm going to take my stuff over here. Yeah, see, I'm getting dried inks over here. Well. So I'm just over here in my bath. My bath. In the bath I have set up for my transfers. And I'm just washing the inks off, the paste off. And I got my little just I really don't want to be dripping a whole bunch of water everywhere. And then I just bring it over here to my cloth and dry it. And I'm looking 
for my other microfiber cloth I had because let's take this like that. Okay. There we go. So now that's dry. And let's see, will it fit on here? There we go. And just do that one. Oh, wait, no, because we can turn this one into a tag. Oops. There we go. We'll do it on this one. And then I'm going to put these in the bath because I'm done with these for right now. Put them in the bath. Get them cleaned up real quick because I have a tendency to forget I have something in the bath and then I ruin my sticky stuff. 